Suru is off to slurp some ramen again. Let's see where he's at. Located a five minute walk away from Higashi Koenji Station in Tokyo, today's shop is called Barikote. Okay, here we go. Susuru is going for the Chashu Ramen. The shop is filled with the smell of tonkotsu, which means pork bones, and are what the soup here is made of. And here it is, Barikote's Chashu Ramen. Wow! The chashu spread out like a fan on the bowl is exciting Susuru. The soup looks like it's full of tonkotsu delight. All right, bon appetit. Let's start off with this soup. Nice. The rich flavor of tonkotsu is without a doubt there, but doesn't give you the impression that it's heavy at all. It's well balanced and really delicious. It's so delicious, Susuru can't have enough of it. Moving on, it's time to lift up the properly thin tonkotsu ramen noodles and slurp. Great! The noodles are sent right from Hakata, where tonkotsu ramen was born, so they're a perfect match with the soup. The quality is through the roof. It picks up a lot of the soup as you slurp as well. It's a combination that makes you want to keep on slurping. Susuru now moves in to gobble up the chashu. It's thinly sliced and easy to take in, but have a nice amount of meatiness nonetheless. Susuru can't help but notice everything in this shop is delicious. Now since Susuru is done with the noodles already, it's time to order a kaidama. As it turns out, the noodles here are so fresh you can even get them raw. Once the kaidama has arrived, Susuru drops the raw noodles right into the soup and then slurp. Hmm. The raw noodles have a unique texture and allows the soup to mingle more with it than when it was cooked. Now this is what you call quality. <laughs> Moving on, Susuru now goes in to change up the flavor. He drops some pickled leaves, pickled ginger, and some sesame. Since the soup here has a nice and firm flavor at its base, the flavor changes without diminishing its original quality. Everything's so delicious, Suru keeps slurping at its fullest speed, and before you know it, he's done! As always, that was one hell of a slurp! It was an authentic tonkotsu ramen, which is hard to come by inside Tokyo. A big thank you to Barikote, and thank you for watching! We'll see you next time at the next ramen shop! Yo,